Welcome back. It's time to check in with Bob Bosold over a Waxing Eater Friday Ag Report. Good morning, Bob. Good morning. How are your brackets holding up now that we get into championship weekend? Well, they're destroyed, but I, <laughs> I, I had Purdue in winning one of them. You know, so. I got to admit, I missed out on Purdue. I said they're going to go out early again. I didn't think they had enough guard play, oh. but here they are in the final four. Well, you Darren's know what? Happy. I, they're going to maybe repeat what Virginia did a few years ago yep. when they lost in the first round of the tournament and then came back and won it the very next year. Oh, but, that's right. I forgot about that. So, yeah. you know, but I still think, you know, not that I'm a Mr. Big East, I just don't see anybody beating Connecticut. Though. I don't either. They look so far head and shoulders yeah. above everybody. So, But it'll be fun. The yeah. women, the women might attract oh, yeah. more attention than the men. I, 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 can, tonight, yeah, Iowa and UConn, yeah, that would be a great game. It's going to be a good one, that's for sure. Well, let's take a look. Uh, we got chores to do before we get to basketball. Let's take a look at what's going on this morning. The USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service has made a preliminary decision on how dairy cows on four separate dairies across the country came down with avian influenza earlier this week. The agency said. They think wild migratory birds are to blame. Tests done over the past week or two on dead birds found around those dairies showed the milk from those dairies contained a strain of the bird flu. They also added that additional testing of that milk found no changes to the virus that would make it more transmissible to humans. Of course, pasteurization of the milk takes care of a lot of that. Scientists also report that the infections are not causing any cattle deaths Unlike the poultry industry, where more than 80 million birds, turkeys, and chickens have been depopulated because of the disease over the past few years. Well, more money for conservation practices coming into the country. The Biden administration sending $1.5 billion now to farmers and other landowners through the Regional Conservation Partnership. Now, to get some of that money, farmers and forest landowners have until July 2nd to submit their ideas that will help them expand conservation strategies that will enhance natural resources that deal with climate cl climate crisis or climate change. The Natural Resources Conservation Service will be the lead agency on selecting and carrying out those accepted practices. Here in Wisconsin, Governor Tony Evers has announced 18 projects across the state will receive funding for projects under the 2024 commercial nitrogen optimization pilot project. That money will help refine and enhance new ways that optimize commercial nitrogen applied on farm fields, helping protect soil and water resources. Among the 18 grants is one for $195,000 to the Chippewa Valley Forage Council to evaluate maximum return to nitrogen rates for corn after nitro after manure applications on the land. The project does include six farmers in the Chippewa Valley. And Alcivia cooperative officials were in Hager City along the Mississippi River yesterday for the groundbreaking of what will eventually be their new grain handling terminal and rail spur. When completed next spring, the facility will have almost 4 million bushels of upright grain storage for corn and soybeans, over 21,000 feet of right-of-way on the Burlington Northern Santa Fe line, and we'll be able to load 440,000 tons of grain cars into grain cars in just 10 hours. The facility will be called All Sylvia's Eagle Run Grain Terminal. Lots of eagles flying down there. On the market yesterday was pretty quiet trade on the Board of Trade. As we saw, beans were a little lower. Corn was higher overnight. July corn unchanged, sitting at 447. The wheat up a penny at 573. July beans fell seven cents overnight, 1185. That bean price was 1197 yesterday morning. Barrel and block cheese prices were both unchanged in the trade yesterday. Butter was down a penny. Class three prices though were a little better yesterday. April up six at 1548. May up 27 at 1591. The June price was up 19 cents at 1651. As Prices were actually a little higher out through August. So that's where we are this morning, and I know I'm gearing up. I'll be watching a lot of basketball, although it's going to be tough with the weather getting better over the weekend. <laughs> yeah, phones are but, but again, the Brewers showing how smart they are by mm -hmm. building a roof. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll bet the Twins were happy about that. When they got home, they saw the difference. Mm-hmm, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good weekend. You